Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I've got a Kindle here. Uh, I got this from a buddy of mine at work. Uh, it was broken, it was his wife, so he gave it to me uh, to see if I could see what kind of precious metals was inside of it. So today we're gonna crack this open and see what kind of precious metals we got. So to start with, <clears throat> so these screens and everything is held on by some glue. So we're gonna heat this up and try to soften up that glue before we crack this open. Okay, so now I got a box cutter. We're just gonna kind of run it along the side here, right in that seam, right where this connects. All right. So we got our screwdriver here. Take it and kind of twist. I get the screwdriver in there. Yep. Now, if you're going to just try to change the battery, I wouldn't recommend this technique. This Kindle's already broken. All right, there we go. I can see right off the bat got gold plated pieces all on the sides there won't amount to too much it is just plated but it's still gold all right so there's the big battery let's go ahead and get that out of there All right, so now we got this, uh, I guess we can call it the motherboard, I guess, but <coughs> got these tiny screws. Just gotta get these out of there. Must be missing a screw somewhere. I got this going to the speaker. 
Let's break that off. Okay, you see all this? This is all gold plating right here. And this right here, these gold fingers. That should be solid, solid gold fingers. Pull that tape off. Now this is a good part too. So if you can see inside here, it's got all these little capacitors. Let's see if I can get a good light on it. MLCC capacitors. These will actually have silver and palladium in them. I'm gonna get a good shot. Okay, so what I'll probably do is just get rid of all the steel and probably just put this in my crucible and smelt this whole motherboard here and just uh, eventually refine all the precious metals out of it. I have a few other things that I can toss in to uh, smelt it down and then uh, hopefully we can get some, uh, some gold out of it. But all this is all gold plated. And, uh, you know, it's not too much. Probably won't be too much palladium, but it's definitely some in there, and it's definitely worth recycling. So uh, you get a few of these, or get a few motherboards from computers, and they'll start to add up. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to see if I can't get the screen off to make sure there's not any more under here. Okay, so I got underneath the glass and the glass shattered on me. Uh, so there was nothing under it actually anyway. So it looks like this uh, little motherboard here is uh, the piece we're after. So a lot of things nowadays are getting smarter about uh, building uh, stuff and having to use less precious metals. So it uh, looks like this little guy right here was what's controlling the entire unit. So we've got our gold plated stuff around here so probably not quite a gram worth of gold but still definitely worth recycling and if you can see right here this has got a little bit of plated gold material so we'll scratch that off and uh put that in with it too and like i said uh the only other thing here is probably silver and palladium also in some of these capacitors right here again not much I thought this was all steel, but it looks like it's aluminum, so I don't have anything magnetic on this board here. So I don't think we have any steel. So uh, what we're going to do is just smelt this down and then separate the metals using chemicals. I'll do that in another video. Alright, well I appreciate you watching. Thank you.